PAs from Parkersburg, West Virginia, Parkersburg South, West Virginia. John Van Brill from Rutgers, Josh Humphreys from Lehigh. Matt number three, about number 480. Humphreys was Eastern champ, and as I mentioned, he's a true freshman. Lehigh during the dual meets was about 500 because they had a lot of guys banged up and out of the lineup through the middle of the season. They finally got it back together for the Eastern Tournament and defeated Cornell in a very competitive EIWA tournament. Humphreys close to two. He gets the two. Van Brills tries to hit a Peterson as he gets taken down. Humphreys maintains control on top. Humphreys is going to put in the legs and try to extend Van Brill forward. Last year, Jason Knopf's only defeat during the season was he lost to Van Brill by injury default. He twisted his knee and tore his ACL. He came back injured but still won the NCAA tournament with a torn ACL. Out 480, Humphreys leading 2-0. Gaining riding time. Van Brill clams up on the bottom. Humphreys is trying to extend him with the leg in. Halfway through the first period. Humphreys has one minute of riding time on the clock. Now he works. Oh, he's close to pinning himself. He pulled him back, but he was flat on his own back for less than a count. Put himself in danger trying to score back points. Now he's going to try to work Van Brill over. He's working hard with the left arm bar. Now he's got a double bar. Let's see if he can lock it up. Van Brill right on the edge of the circle trying to get under the apron. He's got him over. He's Oh, he didn't get more than a count. Now he brings him back, but they're out of bounds. Two near fall were awarded. Josh Humphrey had him stacked up, but they were out of bounds. So Humphreys leads four to nothing with a minute to wrestle in the first period. Caution on the green wrestler move before the whistle. You get two cautions before you would lose a point on the third false start. Humphreys again comes up top, puts in the legs. Van Brill's trying to peel him out. Van Brill's laced up by Humphreys. He's got him trapped. Now he puts in a deep half. Oh, he's got him in trouble. He's going to turn him here. He's got to bump the hips over. He has legs in, trying to turn him with a half. It just doesn't work. He's got to kick the leg out at some point and go to the head. I thought he had him. Here he comes again. He wants to try to rock him back for back points. He's too high, too far off the mat. Short time remaining in the first period. Van Brill trying to come out from the bottom, going head hunting. Humphreys is able to anchor his hips with the leg in, maintains control. He's going to ride him out. He has two minutes and 24 seconds riding time as the second period begins. So we've got to take down in the first 30 seconds and road tough for the remainder of the period. Humphreys is going to choose bottom to start the second period. Van Brill will come on top. John Van Brill placed 8th in the Big Ten. I mentioned he's from Mullica Hill, New Jersey. Very picturesque town, Mullica Hill. We're in the second period. Van Brill on top of Humphreys. Humphreys leading 4-0. Riding time moving down. Van Brill rides with a tight waist. Humphreys tries to jump over the hips. We're in a scramble. Control still with Red Van Brill. Humphrey close to a reversal. Van Brill's latched around his left ankle. It's preventing him from gaining the reversal. Now Humphreys has a cradle lock. No, he does not. I thought he had it locked up. Van 
Brown Brill still latched in that leg. Humphreys is trying to bump his hips through. Reversal awarded. Josh Humphreys now on top, leading 6 0. And again, starting to build his riding team. Humphreys is latched onto the leg of Van Brill. Van Brill's trying to kick the leg out. Scott Hall on account for stalling, and he warns Josh Humphreys for him dropping down on the leg beyond the five count. Ten seconds remain in period two. Josh Humphreys leading 6 0. He has a minute and 48 seconds riding time on the clock, but that could change. Van Brill goes to a tripod. Humphreys jumps up. Puts the legs in, locks around the head and arm, and rides him out. And Bill tries to bridge back on him. Desperation move. Zach Ray, the assistant coach at Lehigh, tells Humphreys to choose neutral. Smart move. And Bill's long and lanky. You don't want to be caught underneath him. Van Brillen on a single. Humphreys goes to latch onto the boots. Tries not to give it up. We're in a scramble here. We're in neutral. We're in a funk. Van Brill trying to come out the back door and get a takedown. Not able to do it with Josh Humphreys latched onto his right ankle. He's still letting it play out. And Bill can't get his legs out. They're both trapped underneath Humphreys. We're going to restart neutral. Minute and 10 seconds. Still made indicator. Humphreys leading 6 0 with 20 seconds to wrestle. We're neutral. He chose neutral to start the third period. There has been no scoring in this period. Van Brill's trying to set up an over and under to hit a throw, and he does try a desperation shot. As he does, Humphrey gets the takedown and the counter move and back points. Jo John Van Brill tried to hit a home run down 6 0, tried to hit a body lock for a pancake, lateral drop. Not able to turn Humphreys. Our winner on map number three, bout number 480 from Lehigh University, Josh Humphreys is our winner. Bout 480. Coming up on map.